defensive back Bobby McCain with me today for this one-on-one -on -one brought to you by Baptist Health South Florida. And Bobby, you seem to be a vet out here now. It's a familiarity with training camp. How's it going so far, first day in pads today? Oh, it's going good. You know, the intensity picked up. The guys are ready to go. We're ready to make contact, ready to be physical, and, you know, be smart, you know. And that's Coach Gates Priest is here. we got to be able to practice smart, and that's what we're doing, you know. Uh, having contact, having the pads on, people get a little energy. But, you know, coming out here, getting good work, people being in the right space, playing the right technique, that's what you want to see. It seems like there's a, a good vibe here early in training camp. The guys on defense, guys on offense, getting their work done. What's the biggest change for you coming into this season? It, it's, it's my third training camp, so, you know, just – it, there, there's not so much change, but it, it's just getting adapting, you know, ad, adapting to the heat. Uh, the young guys trying to adapt to the heat. They're uh, trying to adapt to the practices, the schedule. You know, it's long and it, it's grueling, but it, it's worth it, you know, and, and, and it's, it's going to make us uh, when January, February comes, you know, we're going to be ready to go and, and ready to play. Matt Burke takes over the defense. You're on the inside. What's the toughest thing in communication with getting some new schemes and Vance moving on to the Denver Broncos? What's the biggest change on the defensive side for you? You know, Coach Burke does a great job, man, communicating with all three groups, D-line, DBs, and linebackers. And uh, we all talk, Kiko and LT, uh, the guys I play beside, you know, they're, they're, they're great communicators. Kiko loves to talk. And um, that's, that's what we pride ourselves on, man, communicating, playing the right technique, and uh, just being physical, man, running and hitting. That's, that's, that's our job. And I, I appreciate Coach Burke for, you know, putting his two cents in, even when we don't need it, just an extra here or there, something to help you. And uh, even Coach Gase, you know, they, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a community thing. And uh, as long as we're together and as long as we can talk and play together, then we'll be just fine. You see a lot of the high schools coming out to watch you guys practice. Uh, does it give you guys a little bit of energy taking a look back that you were there yeah. at one time and now you're a professional? Do you get to interact with the guys coming off the field, some of the younger kids? Yeah, most definitely, man. It, it, it's, it's a joy seeing them out here because we were just there, it feels like. you know. And um, me being, I'm only 23, I turned 24 in August, but you know, I, can, I, I know what they're thinking. I know they're like, oh, man, it's the league. You know? But everybody, you have a shot, man. Just work at it and uh, do what you're supposed to do uh, in the classroom and on, and on the field, man. You'll be just fine. Personally, how do you feel coming in this season? You look fit. You look ready to go. Uh, what do you? What are your goals for this year? I feel great, man. I, I feel great. You know, I just want to win. You know, at the end of the day, just win in whatever I do. Uh, every game, take it one game at a time. You know, people say, "Oh, they want to predict the seasons." We're not predicting the seasons. We want to win every game. There's, we're, we're not going to go into one game thinking we're going to lose this game or, "Oh, this will be a tough one." No, we're going prepared to win, and that's what Coach Gase's mentality brings. Well, Bobby, win today, win tomorrow, and uh, good luck in training camp. Stay healthy, and all the best for this season. Most definitely. Thank you. You got it.